Combining Google with Brightspace is easy with these URL hacks. They are going to save you some time and save your students some frustration in trying to make copies of different Google Docs that you are sharing with them. What you're gonna do is gonna come up to your doc, come to your share button, go to get link, and make sure you set it for anyone within our school board can view, and then you're gonna copy this link. If you come over to another browser window then, and paste that link, what you should notice about the link is that at the very end, it's got this edit question mark USP equals sharing. So what you wanna do is you want to delete that and then you're gonna replace it with a word. You can replace it with preview, you can re replace it with copy or you can replace it with template slash preview. So what I wanna do is show you what each of these are going to look like. If you replace it with preview, this is the view you're going to get. You get a view of the Google Doc without all the menu bars. So it's a very sort of clean kind of look that you get for your document. If you replace it with the word copy, then what that's going to do is force a copy of your document. So your students would just come here and click on the blue, make a copy document and then complete their work. And the final one, and probably my favorite one, is template slash preview. So this takes the best of both of those other URL hacks I showed you. It shows you a preview of your doc and then also gives you this blue use template button. When you click on that, it forces a copy of the document, but you get to actually see it before you make a copy of it. So how are you gonna use this in Brightspace? Well, if you come over to your Brightspace course shell, then what you wanna do is go to create new in your content, grab the web link, and then you're gonna paste the link of the one that you want to share with your students. So I'm gonna take my template slash preview. I'm gonna paste it here. I'm gonna give it a name. And then I'm gonna select open in a new tab because any of these URL hacks don't embed on the page itself, which is okay. If I want it to be visible right away, I'm gonna check this off and then hit save. And so when your students come into Brightspace and they go and click on that content piece and they go open link, it's going to take them to that URL that you just hacked. So it's gonna save them frustration in trying to figure out how to make copies of documents and it's gonna actually end up saving you a lot of time and hopefully reduce the amount of emails you get in your inbox.